Hey folks, this is Gene Farm with Airport Marine. This is part two of our videos on our new Vexus boats that we've just picked up. What you're looking at today is one of a kind Vexus VX20. Uh, I'm going to go over the boat, show you what makes this boat so special, jump out, show you about the boat outside of the boat, and tell me what you think about it in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button, ring the bell, you'll get other notifications from us on YouTube. And like I said, uh, here we go, the new Vexus PX20. First thing we're going to look at, folks, is going to be the deck of the boat. No carpeting whatsoever. You've got the sea deck type material. And then if you take a look, you see something a little special. That's a Vexus special made vinyl that not only goes around the flooring of the boat on top of the cooler it is underneath all the sea deck but also when you open up one of the compartments it's also clad completely around all the compartment doors super cool I don't think you're gonna find a single boat out there like that now that we've got this open, let's take this monstrous rod box here on the port side. Everything's fiberglass. Got sea deck type padding underneath so it doesn't scratch up. In the center. Sorry about the custom cover blocking the way, but you've got a rod box in here that'll hold 12 more rods. You're not going to put rods in here, of course, it'll hold a ton of tackle. And on the starboard side, one of the largest rod boxes that we've seen in a 20-foot class boat. Once again, everything is pure fiberglass, and then it's got foam padding so you don't scratch it up with your equipment. While we're up here, we'll just talk about the front deck. Twin Solix 12s with a Minn Kota 112 Ultrex with Mega Imaging. Everything is tooled spotless. Everything is stainless steel, fiberglass, and aluminum. Not going to have anything on here that's going to deteriorate. Going to the back of the boat. Your cooler is in your step. Also got a little place here to keep your sandwiches cold. Something special on this boat. Got hot and cold cup holders. You just press the button. If it's blue, it's cold. If it's red, it's hot. All the seats are going to be the airwave pedestals. Super, super comfortable while you're running in rough water. I don't think anybody else has got anything like that unless it's a walleye style boat. When we get to the back, dual live wells separated by a plexiglass type material. Also, individual doors. Keep your small mouth or spots from jumping out. Of course, the live wells are lit. They have pump out and you've got your oxygenator on it. Now let's take a look at the cockpit, and this is where a lot of the really neat stuff is. First off, you'll have a fob in your pocket. You just hit the start button on and off. You have a full panel on the side with all of your buttons for everything, but this boat also has a paddle system. Most of the stuff that you use a lot is going to be right there at your fingertips. You've got jack plate up and down. You've got trim up and down. You've got your lights, your horn. You've got live well uh, components as well as lighting. Everything's right there with buttons behind the paddle. Very easy to do while you're on the run. This boat's got a 15 inch Solex in the dash. Uh, other things, the new foot throttle with slider plate. Other than that, tons of room in the cockpit. Tons of room for your partner. 
rod ramp on the side holds eight rods grab rails for rougher water conditions or just you like to hang on and other than that folks like I said it's a one-of-a-kind boat with the cladding on the floor with the paddle system and other than that we're gonna jump out of the boat here I'm gonna have Ryan hold the camera and I'm gonna show you about what's going on around the outside Trailers are all made at Vexus, not contracted out to other companies, so they're building this trailer just for this boat. So you don't have anything that's just going to make it. Fiberglass fenders, 17 inch sport wheels coming up to the front of the boat. Their proprietary step system, easy to get in. It's got C deck type material for non slip. We're going to come up to the back of the boat. Obviously, the Mercury 250 Pro XS motor that everybody knows and loves. We put the Minn Kota Raptors on it. And if you want to come around here with the camera, they bolt their anchoring systems right into the back of the boat. It is super, super solid doesn't have that wobble you'll get on some of the uh, mounts that go on your jack plate. We've got a hydraulic atlas jack plate on it, boat buckle tie downs, everything you need for tournament fishing if you want the best of the best. Once again, my name is Gene Kwan. I'm with Airport Marine, 205-605-7545. If you love the boat, give me a call.